this is Bloom Perfumery. Today I would like to discuss cheap perfumes. At Bloom we have a very diverse portfolio, which has something for everyone, any budget, any request in terms of formula, uh, style, complexity. We have hundreds of options. And we have a brand which I call H&M of perfume world. So they're very affordable and fun at the same time. Just like H&M, they follow the current trends and they offer you the fashionable styles uh, at a very, very uh, appealing price. So, Bracard, they're called. For example, this uh, blend called Modern Classic, it represents that very popular style of caramel floral or sweet vanilla floral, sea by Armani, lots of Prada scents, uh, Bon Bon by Victor and Rolf. All of these perfumes belong to the same uh, family of gourmand florals. And this is like an archetypal example of such style. Price tag 17 pounds for 50 ml and 21 pound for 100 ml. And packaging wise, uh, they just go wild. They don't have similar bottles for any item. Every new perfume has its own design. Or take this one. It's one of the best lilacs I've smelled. Believe me, in uh, 15 years in this business, I've smelled a lot. So lilacs are quite rare um, because it's an imaginary flower. You can't distill a lilac. So you have to come up with an idea of which molecules you combine as a perfumer to represent the style of lilac. So you have some attempts to create uh, that aqueous fresh flower in Frederick Mall. Price tag 250 pounds or brands like L'Artisan 15 pounds and when you spray it uh, you're just transported to a garden uh, where lilacs are at full bloom so we whenever we have this back in stock it just goes in about three days because it's irresistible and considering the price it's ultimately irresistible. So, as the brand developed, they started having collaborations with very prominent noses. Their recent release, called Erata, dedicated to uh, the goddess or deity of dance in ancient Greece, has been done with Bertrand de Chaffaut. It's a very, he is a very prolific and talented nose who collaborates with a lot of niche houses. Price tag, 12 pounds. We have other collaborations um, from other brands and those bottles would be in the region of like 120 pounds. So how comes they're so cheap? I tend to disagree with the way this question is phrased whenever customers ask this. It's not why these are so cheap, it's the matter of why perfumes they sell you or offer you in department stores and duty-free outlets are so expensive. When you go for a branded perfume, which has been advertised by a star and you've seen the ads in every bus stop and in every magazine, 80% of the price would be the uh, advertising budget. So you sort of pay for those brands to sell their goods to you and you pay for those famous people to endorse these products again persuade you to buy them so Brocard doesn't do that they have fun they create wonderful outgoing uh, very well executed blends but just like H&M they use very affordable materials so, don't expect uh, expensive floral absolutes from these formulas. It would be a set of molecules representing the expensive flower in a way. 
So this is how you cut costs and this is how you can achieve a beautiful perfume uh, with such a price tag. But then when you go to department store, very similar blend in terms of execution made with synthetic alternatives offered to you at those exuberant prices and there's no law which will require perfumers to uh, reveal whether it's really jasmine, whether it's really magnolia or it's just a combination of molecules representing the smell of that particular material. Vanilla is probably the worst. You read through a um, perfume pyramid of perfume A and it says vanilla, sandalwood, jasmine and bergamot and the only real thing there would be probably bergamot. Everything else would be a molecule representing the smell of sandalwood, jasmine and vanilla. And no shop assistant would explain that to you unless you come here. And you sort of presume, okay, that's real vanilla, which is an extremely rare nowadays and expensive perfume material. So whenever real vanilla is used, uh, the price tag would be above a hundred pounds. So in here, even though it smells quite sweet, uh, they used ethyl maltol, which smells somewhere between honey, sugar and vanilla. But it's not identical to real vanilla and it's synthetic, so it's infinitely available and uh, quite easy to produce. Hence the price going down, as opposed to a case uh, when they would could have gone to, for real vanilla. So this is uh, Bracard in short. This is our position on cheap perfumes. We do have them. We do explain why they're cheap. It's materials, which are affordable. It's not charging the customer for the advertising and uh, promotion. And they're genuinely having fun. They have their own factory. So all the production and packaging happens in-house. That applies to the development of the bottles too. In terms of formulas, they do collaborate with French noses, uh, they have uh, a lot of uh, blends which have been created by recent graduates um, of perfume schools. So maybe some of these people who have created beautiful uh, blends for that will become the famous noses later on. So it's a very genuinely um, outgoing and well-meaning kind of brand. It's not that they uh, rip off the designs. At some point they sort of started doing or producing better blends than the m mass luxury brands they were uh, following in terms of trends. So, if you want to try this brand, uh, we have samples available from our website. Otherwise, you're most welcome to visit us here at Covent Garden. We will introduce you to this brand or any other brand and hopefully see you soon. Thank you. Bye.